You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, this is a quick click, and uh, today we're talking about this. These are the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pens. I really like the, uh, what is it, uh, this is one, the Hybrid Technica from Pentel. This is a very good gel ballpoint combo pen. Uh, and these, I thought, looked pretty darn cool. They come in, I think, eight different varieties or some such thing. Maybe more? There are a whole bunch of these. Uh, and each one has a base color and then a glitter color that's sort of in the ink. And uh, it ends up looking a lot like shimmery fountain pen ink when you get it on paper. So here I have three of them that I got from Jet Pens uh, for, what did I pay for these? $2.65 a piece. So not the cheapest gel pens, but they're pretty darn cool. So here I have blue and metallic green, black with metallic red, and orange with metallic yellow. Uh, I, th I saw these and I'm like, we gotta give these a shot. So, uh, to just take a look at these real quick, it's basically a stick pen. Nothing real fancy on the outside. You get this kind of glitter in the barrel and such. You get a very, like, a very fancy clip here that says, uh, hybrid, dual, metallic, and then K110, uh, and that's that. On the back, you have the name blue plus metallic green and also the one millimeter, uh, tip size. And then a couple of other things like you know, three cap after use, duh. Uh, the there's nothing else special going on here. You get a little bit of a flat side, excuse me, a flat side with some knurling here. Uh, then that's kind of it. Inside, unscrewing this nose cone, you have a pretty standard gel pen refill size here. I haven't tried putting this in anything. It's a pretty long refill size and not something I think. That would go like it wouldn't go in a click pen or whatever. This is purely a stick pen sized thing. Let's put this together. Also, you can see how big this tip is. Uh, that's that's a big that's a big tip for a gel pen or any kind of pen like this. Uh, so let's get them on some paper because I think that's where this is really interesting stuff. Okay, so here we have Pentel. I'm gonna say this was blue and green. And then here we have uh, the Pentel Hybrid. Uh, this is orange and yellow. There we go. Bad W, but it got the job done. And then lastly, uh, this is the Pentel Hybrid. With uh, black and red. All right, now it does take a minute or so, uh, maybe not a minute, but like a few seconds for this to actually, uh, for this to dry. As you can see, I smeared this just a little bit. I got a little bit on my finger here. Uh, but once they do, they're pretty solid. I think I haven't had any problems with these smearing or any of that jazz you sometimes get with shimmery uh, fountain pen ink. So none of those problems. I did have a little bit of a weak spot here. Every once in a while, you get a spot where the, the, the ball doesn't quite turn. And that is a problem, I think, of the uh, the one millimeter pens in general. I get that with, um, with ballpoint pens as well. It's not a huge deal. Uh, but it does mean that you're probably going to want to use a little bit of more pressure with these. Certainly more than you use with a fountain pen. That's why sometimes I have this problem, I think, because I forget to press down like you need to do with a non-fountain pen. Uh, but once you get these on paper, like, these are pretty darn cool. They make very cool pens for addressing, for signing things. I use them for my Christmas tags, I think. Uh, this one down here is the most uh, uh, subtle of these. Obviously, this one has a good amount of shimmer. The orange and yellow just kind of glows. And then the black and red is pretty uh, pretty chill. Like, you just kind of catch a glint of purple or uh, reddish color in, in the black ink. And uh, I think it's kind of neat. Like, it's not really all that in your face. Uh, I think you can get away with using this in a lot of contexts, actually. Uh, not just for notes and headings and signatures and stuff. But these are an interesting pen. I'm a little bit torn on uh, recommending them just because you do sometimes get this little bit of a problem. And also, they're so thick. I mean, just for, uh, let's see, what's this? This is a pretty wide tip. This is an extra broad 
XB uh, Schneider slider. Um, and you can see it's a lot thinner than this 1.0 gel. Gels are in general going to be quite thick. This is a 0.6 uh, what, what is this one called? The the Hybrid Technica. And that is a that is just way smaller. I mean, half a millimeter, give or take. But uh, 1.0 on a gel pen is pretty thick, and you do have a little bit of this problem sometimes. But uh, you end up with something really cool. So I'd say go to jet pens and pick out a couple that you like the the look of, because there are a whole bunch of different ones. You can actually get sets too. Uh, there's a seven and an eight color set for seven fifty, uh, seventeen fifty, and uh, nineteen bucks respectively. All kinds of colors and violets and uh, light blues and dark blues and uh, greens, like all kinds of stuff going on. So you know, check these out and uh, let me know what you think about them because I think they're kind of neat. Uh, this guy I know, uh, Evan, got some for his daughter and apparently she loves them. So. Maybe a fun thing to, you know, get your kid interested in fountain pens and stuff. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.